among such important areas one is ocean currents. So, see as I told you many times in the oceans in the oceans the water moves in three waves. We have already discussed about waves. I told that waves will occur throughout the ocean. Though we see them at the coastal area because we stand at the beach, they occur throughout the ocean and they occur only because of the friction of the wind. The wind that is flowing pushes the uh, water, the water moves like waves. Whereas the tides, as I told you, tides is nothing but the overall ocean water rises up and falls down. When moon comes very close to it, moon pulls them, they rise up. When moon goes away, they fall down. It is purely gravitational effect. Tides is purely gravitational effect. Within the gravitation also, the effect of moon is more. Though sun also pulls the water, sun, but very less because sun is far away, moon is very close to the earth. So, However, on the waves and tides in UPSC, generally questions are not at all coming in plumes and mains. Questions are coming only about ocean currents. Waves because of wind, tides because of moon, somewhat sun also, means gravitation. But currents occur because of several reasons. The reasons itself is very important in the formation of current. There are lot of reasons behind the origin of currents. Here we should study two things. One is what is the reason behind origin of the current? Origin means who creates the currents. Second thing is reason behind change in the direction of current. See there are some factors which will create the ocean currents. There are some factors which will deviate, change the direction of the ocean current. For example, rotation of earth or maybe Coriolis force. Coriolis force does not create the ocean current. But if already ocean current is going, Coriolis force will deviate the ocean current like that. For example, planetary winds can create the ocean currents also. They can deviate also, both they can do. Actually on this, on this aspect in 2018 and I think 15, two or three questions were asked. Means which of the following are the originating factor? And many students in their mind, they remember the, they remember all the factors out of them which are originating, which are deviating, they do not differentiate, they remember everything which is not a good thing, okay. So now we will study both these factors. Before that, ocean currents are broadly divided into cold ocean currents and warm ocean currents, that is important. What are cold ocean currents and what are warm ocean currents? See, as I told you, we, d we do not define the warm or cold based on temperature. We define them based on relative temperature. For example, let us say this ocean. Here the temperature of the ocean water is 40 degrees centigrade. Okay, let us say not 40, let us say 40, generally 40 is not possible ocean, say 30 degrees centigrade. Now from somewhere, this is all ocean, this is all ocean, this part of the ocean temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. This part of the ocean temperature is 20 degrees centigrade. Now from here one ocean current is coming here, it is coming. Now this ocean water as it came from this part of the ocean its temperature will be 20 degree. Now as this ocean is 30 degree and the current is 20 degree we call it as cold ocean current. Why it is cold? Because relatively cold but let us say in this part of the ocean is all ocean only. I am just dividing ocean into parts. In this part of this part of the ocean, temperature is 15 degrees centigrade, let us say. Now from here, one ocean current is going. Now as ocean current is going from here, temperature will be 20 degrees. Same 20 only. However, this ocean, the people here or the animals here, whatever, they pursue this as a warm current because that area is 15 degrees only. Something is coming 20 degrees, so it is warm ocean current. So temperature is 20 degrees only, 20 only, but in some areas we call cold ocean current, some areas warm ocean current. That is the definition of cold and warm ocean current. So we do not define it by temperature, we define it by relative temperature. Also, see ocean currents 
can also be classified as surface ocean currents and underneath ocean currents underneath underneath ocean currents that means see let us say you are standing here on the coast this is a this is a ocean now some ocean currents the water moves on the top the water moves on the top in some places the water moves from the bottom this is also ocean current this is also ocean current basically what is ocean current ocean current is nothing but in the ocean some mass of water some mass of water flows just like the river on the land on the land how does the river flow similarly in the ocean also some mass of the water flows in a specific direction flows like a stream that is called ocean waves are not like that waves means entire ocean waves will come tide also entire ocean up and down tides will come but ocean currents entire ocean will not move in the entire ocean in some places water will move like this that is called ocean current ocean current means ocean moving like a stream in in the ocean water moving like a stream in the ocean water moving like a stream in the ocean okay now this water if it moves on the surface we call it as surface current sub surface ocean current why for example i'll tell you a simple example of why water moves in both directions i'll tell you see for example you take earth you take earth this is equator around the equator temperature is very high because insulation is more sun's rays are more temperature is high because of high temperature what happens is because high temperature what happens this water becomes warm hot water always expands generally iron any any material when you heat it it expands so warm water expands so at the equator equator the water expands like this but in the polar area water is this all only so water starts moving from equator to polar area see the amount of water is same at equator also the volume is same polar also volume is same but equator same volume expanded that's all expansion happened so water starts flowing so now from the equator as water is flowing here water will decrease no reduce no somebody has to compensate the water no they have to balance no for that balancing what happens is in the polar area cool water sinks generally in the water if you pour cool you take a tumbler of water pour cool water from the fridge will the water stay on the top go down it goes down similarly in the polar areas also surface cold water in polar area surface cold water goes down after going down from there it will come to the equator why it comes to the equator to compensate from the equator water is going to the polar area to compensate that water comes from polar area so it's a cycle now the reason you should you should understand the reason from equator why water is going because at equator water expanded because of the difference in the altitude the water flows on the surface in the polar area why water comes from bottom because in polar area cool water sunk it went inside after going inside here water is decreasing to compensate it is coming so cycle that is the reason why you have uh, surface ocean currents which are mostly warm sub surface ocean currents which are mostly so all surface ocean currents are not warm i'll come to that one also mostly they are warm sub surface are cold okay so ocean currents can be divided into surface currents sub surface currents ocean currents can be divided into warm currents cold current also some people actually divide the ocean currents based on their speed and volume based on the speed and also based on the volume volume we can divide the ocean current into three types one is drift drift <coughs> okay other is the current no ocean current the other thing is very good stream stream the only difference is in drift only some amount of water moves very slowly mainly because of wind wind cannot really move the water so fast no slowly it moves small amount of drift whereas stream stream means stream means with great velocity lot of water with great velocity will flow that is called stream 
current is between those two, current is intermediary, means medium amount of water, medium amount of speed. So, based on the speed and volume, we divide ocean currents into three types, okay. Now, this is broadly, I think you broadly understood what are the ocean currents, what are the types of the ocean currents. Now, we will go, for, go to reasons, as I told you waves are because of wind, tides are because of gravitation pull, currents are because of what, that we will study now, ocean currents are because of what, okay. Okay, see reasons for one is the origin of ocean currents, and another thing is the direction of ocean currents, direction of ocean currents. You should study both, both okay. Now, this thing <coughs> some of the books, some of the books have divided them neatly into four broad categories. What they said is, the reasons can be, reason can be because of earth, earth or reason can be because of ocean water only, reason can be because of ocean water or the reason is atmosphere, atmosphere also is reason, okay, you will study and some other miscellaneous other factors to study at the end. Now first, let us discuss about ocean water. How does the ocean water itself is a reason for ocean currents? How? See here, first is temperature, temperature. You can see all the ocean water is not of uniform temperature. If you look at the ocean near the equator, it is cooler. When you go towards near the equator, it is hotter. Near the equator, water is hot, warm. As you go towards the polar area, slowly temperature of water will keep on decreasing, keep on decreasing. So, the entire ocean water, any ocean, Atlantic, Pacific, any ocean, temperature is not uniform. So, now, as temperature is different, as I already explained to you, at the equator, warm water expands, so it flows towards the polar area. In polar area, water is heavy, cool and heavy, it will sink, it will flow towards equator. Like that, temperature is a reason. I had explained before only, temperature reason, okay. Second thing friends, salinity is also a reason. How salinity will affect the, how salinity will create the ocean current, see, temperature is the creator of ocean currents, it's all, temperature is an originator of ocean current, salinity is also creator of ocean current, how, see, I will tell you, take the ocean water, at some place salinity is very high, let us say. At some plate, salinity very low. You tell me, Preeti, when salinity is very high, will the water sink or rise up? Salt content is very high. Then, you tell me. You take to take one liter of water here. One liter of water here. In this water, add more salt. Now, which will be more heavy? Less saline, more saline. More heavy, no. Heavy water will sink down or come up. Down. Oh, oh. I don't know. I, I am th till today I am thinking that heavy thing will go go down. I never know heavy will come up actually. First time I am listening from you only. Anybody who thinks that heavy water will come up? Anybody? Think you think like that? You don't think like that. No? I know. I know about you. See, so friends, see, when water is heavy, it will go down. For example, you take iron, put on the water, it will float or go down. <coughs> Why? Because it is of Density, more density, no, like that. In the ocean also, at some places where salt content is more, where salinity is more, in those places water is heavy, heavy. So, in those places water will sink. So, now a question to you. You take the ocean water. Here salinity is more, here salinity is less. Tell me ocean current will flow from where to where? Less saline to more, more to less. Friends, see, this is a ocean water. This is a ocean water. In this place, in this place, salinity is more. In this place, salinity is less. Now, when salinity is more, water will 
sink water actually comes down less salinity water will be at a greater height less salinity water will be normal more salinity water comes down so the ocean currents come from exactly less salinity more salinity temperature also same for example take the water if temperature is more here if temperature is more here temperature less here at more temperature water will expand so ocean current will flow so ocean current flows from more temperature to less temperature but coming to salinity ocean current flows from less salinity to more salinity basic things you should understand ocean current flow from less saline water to more saline water for example let us take the whole map do you want this map or that map do you want do you want this one or this one ha huh? do you want this one but i want this one only okay anyway i'll do this one don't worry and see now in this map let us consider two three places of different salinity and let us see how ocean current moves okay for example you take you take baltic sea do you know this is called baltic sea this is called this is called baltic sea baltic and this is called north sea you know north sea no what is this country this country is uk below the uk have got north sea above you got baltic sea do you know friends baltic sea is famous for rivers actually from norway sweden finland you see norway norway sweden finland from these countries lot of rivers flow into they flow into baltic sea tell me a river water has more salinity less salinity very good because fresh water fresh water less salinity so because lot of rivers are coming into baltic sea the baltic sea salinity will be increased decreased 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 so baltic sea will have less salinity north sea is a part of atlantic ocean there are no many rivers coming into north sea Many rivers does not come into North Sea. Do not come into North Sea because of that. In North Sea, salinity will be more. North Sea will have more salinity. Now tell me, the ocean currents flow from where to where? Baltic to North, North to Baltic. Yes, that's why ocean currents always flow from Baltic to North Sea. This is one example. Another example you can see is you can take this India part. For example, friend. Can you tell me what is this sea? Very good. What is this sea? If you see entire Arabian Sea only, this one, this one, this one is all. I mean, west of India, west of India, Arabian Sea only. Okay, this is called Persian Gulf. This is called what is Persia? Iran. Iran, Iran is called Persia. Where is Iran? Here is Iran. This is Iran. I mean, this is Iran basically. So Persian Gulf. This is Red Sea. For example, what see? Always remember from the from the major sea to the minor sea, the link is there. No link. Those links are very important. If those links are closed, you cannot go into that sea. Persian Gulf is famous for oil and gas reserves. Oil and gas. India gets lot of oil gas to Persian Gulf only. Indian ships go there, get oil and gas. Tell me, what is a strait? What is a strait? Strait is a narrow channel of sea that connects two seas, one ocean, one sea. For example, can you ever tell me what is this uh, strait? Baba. Baba. all mandap baba al mandap is a strait connecting red sea with the arabian sea where this is called hormuz strait hormuz hormuz strait is connecting persian gulf with arabian, arabian sea. sea for example what is this sea what is this what is this sea is water very good maiden sea this is atlantic ocean right atlantic tell me what is a strait this strait Connecting the Mediterranean Atlantic Ocean. 
the channel Zibraltar 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 Strait cannot see Atlantic Ocean with Mediterranean. Some people call Gibraltar also. Similarly, Hormuz Strait cannot You should know Strait. For example, where is Strait of Molokka? Anybody? Where is Strait of Molokka? This one. This is called Strait of Molokka. Molokka is very famous Strait. It connects the, very good. It connects the Pacific Ocean with Indian Ocean. And China is, this is China, you know this is China, right? China gets most of its oil reserves or gas reserves either from Africa, Iran or the Venezuela, I mean the South American countries or African countries or Arabian countries. These are the countries which will send oil gas, you know. All the oil and gas will come in the ocean. It will pass through the state of Molokka and go to the China. If, if anybody can close the state of Molokka, China's economy will be will be affected badly because all the ships will be closed and no. Similarly, if Strait of Hormuz is closed, India will be affected, India. That's why most of the Navy, the US Navy, Chinese Navy, any other um, bigger countries Navy are most located around these straits only. You don't need to stay here and here. What is the point of here? Nothing will happen. You have to stay close to these places so that during the war you can block those things. But during the war, you can accordingly fight. Okay. Anyhow, now anybody tell me, from the Persian Gulf to the Arabian Sea, where will the where will the uh, ocean currents flow? From where to where? I'll tell you. The Red Sea and Persian Sea have very less rivers, very less rivers. Even Mediterranean Sea also very less rivers. That and also remember, Mediterranean Sea, Red Sea, Persian Gulf, these these oceans are surrounded by land from all sides and land is very hot compared to water. As they are surrounded by the land which is hot, the sea also will become hot. So the Mediterranean Sea, Persian Gulf Red Sea, they are very hot seas. As they are hot, more evaporation is there. As more evaporation is there, salinity will, will increase. Increase. What is salinity different? Salinity, see, salinity is nothing but amount of salt content per 1 liter of water, 1 liter of water. For example, you take a glass of water, 1 liter, you take a glass of 1 liter of water, add salt, add, add uh, uh, 10 grams of salt. Take another glass, same 1 liter of water, 1 liter of water, add 10 grams of salt. Now, this glass, you keep it normal, but this glass, you put on stove, heat it. So, water will, yeah, let us say, after some evaporation for 2 to 3 hours, the 1 liter will become half liter. What evaporated? Half liter there. How much salt will be there? 10 grams only. Salt will not evaporate. Okay, 10 grams salt. Now, what is the salinity of this one? 10 grams of salt by 1 liter. Here, what salinity? 10 grams of salt by 1 liter, which is equal to 20. So, salinity is more for this one, this one salinity. So, why? Because of evaporation. So, when evaporation occurs, salinity increases. Now, tell me, Mediterranean Sea has, is more saline than Atlantic. Red Sea is more saline than Arabian. Persian Gulf more saline than? So, ocean water, ocean currents flow from? Because salt water is high density. What is floating? According to you, what is the meaning of floating? Floating means if, see, if this has, for example, if consider the consider the density of water. Let us say density of water is, say some uh, 1.5 is density of water. Now, you keep wood, you keep a wooden block. The wooden block density is, let us say, 1.2. So, less dense, less than water. So, it is floating. Now, if you keep an iron block, iron block is? So, iron is density 5. So, it is more density. So, iron will sink. Now, take an object. Take, for example, normal water, pure water, density is 1. You add some salt into the water, some salt. Density will increase. It will become 1.2. You add even more salt. Even more salt. Density will become 1.5. Now, now, you bring a 
bring an object having density of say 1.3 bring an object having density of 1.3 or object put it here it will sink here sink here float and so why because density of object is less than density of water here for example if the water is highly saline for example lake van in turkey there is a lake called lake van highly saline otherwise you can take dead sea what is this sea friend what is see what is this sea there is a water here i just removed it now one second if you want i can show you are you able to see water here that is called dead sea dead the sea is called as this is called dead sea and this dead sea this is called gulf of aqaba we will see, see later gulf of aqaba you know dead sea dead sea has a lot of salt content because it is completely covered with land on all sides very small land's heat has evaporated under water high salt content will be there so it has so much of salt content that for example friends see when i jump into the water i will try to swim i am trying to float if water density is 1 floating is difficult i will be sinking down density is 1.2 it will easy density 1.5 very easy i can float happily if density is equal to my density i can just sleep like that i will not i will not go down for example if density is very high i can even walk on the water careful i can walk on the water you understood so floating or sinking depends on the relative density relative okay anyhow hey what is the topic ocean currents okay so friends see so ocean currents flow from arabian sea to red sea arabian sea to uh, atlantic sea to mediterranean sea why because of difference in the salinity salinity okay so that is salinity friends however see temperature salinity both of them actual affects density both these things affect actually it is density of water if if temperature is more density will reduce if salinity is more density will increase so you should not look at temperature select separately combine them combine them look at the overall density of water where our density is more water will sink density is less water will slightly rise hence ocean currents flow from less dense water to more dense water this is a concept of ocean water now let's go to atmosphere let's go to atmosphere friends how does atmosphere affect the ocean currents obviously rainfall for example if take entire world ocean in the ocean whichever places rainfall is more which are places rainfall is more there obviously salinity will reduce because rain water is pure water wherever rain water is there the sea level will rise so ocean currents will go from the sea from the high rainfall to low rainfall so ocean currents are created at the places where rainfall is more similarly even river also the places where rivers join the ocean or rivers there also ocean currents are created similarly friends evaporation when insulation is more on a sunny day hot day in summer season when insulation is more because of more evaporation of water the water level will reduce also because evaporation salinity will also increase so water will sink so basically because of evaporation water level will decrease so ocean currents come towards that come towards that okay that's how atmosphere affects the atmosphere affects the ocean current in atmosphere you can also discuss about the pressure atmospheric pressure those students who heard the climatology class may be knowing that other students can just try to understand if you take the earth at the equator around the equator you have got low pressure belt low pressure means on the equator pressure is very less whereas here in the subtropical area subtropical area you get high pressure like that you will have again low pressure again high pressure but leave all those things what i am telling is in some regions of the earth pressure is very high high pressure some regions low pressure now wherever high pressure atmospheric pressure means actually atmospheric pressure nothing but the weight of the air acting on the land 
when pressure is more water will go down when pressure is less water will come up so ocean currents will flow from low pressure to high pressure so ocean currents flow from equator towards polar area that also you should understand okay so these are the various things how atmosphere creates the ocean currents this is how ocean water is responsible for ocean currents now for example see some reasons i'll tell you the coastline if you look at the coastline for example see friends i will tell you where is atlantic ocean atlantic ocean i will mark some important ocean currents now just note them note them down for example where is equator this equator okay now on the north of the equator friends actually i will draw i will draw warm ocean current warm ocean current is a straight line i will draw cold ocean current with a Okay. Remember that one. Okay. Now, what is this warm current or cold current? Equator. 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 That you should remember. Okay. Listen. Now, there is a warm ocean current coming like this, called northern equatorial current. There is a warm ocean current coming like this, called as southern, southern, southern equatorial current. Equatorial. I will tell the reasons for all these currents in due course of time. Just wait. Okay. first i will draw the ocean currents in between these two things there is a counter equatorial current counter <laughs> counter counter means opposite to the equatorial current counter equatorial current okay this north equatorial current after coming till here it will divide into branches it will go like this it will go like this this is called gulf stream what is the meaning of stream fast fast now so large mass of water that's why it's called stream this is called current current because medium amount of water medium speed now this gulf stream after it hits the hits the i mean north american continent it will it wants to go like this but because of the coriolis force it goes like this this is called north atlantic drift again i'll come back and tell you about all these things okay first note down north atlantic drift now friends from the polar area you may be knowing this is called labrador this is called labrador part of canada so a cold ocean current called as labrador current labrador current comes from here what is this one so a cold ocean current called as East, yeah, Greenland. Eastern Greenland current, Eastern Greenland current comes from there. Okay. Now, friends, again here one cold ocean current called as Canary current. Friends, don't try to compare Canary current with the Labrador. Labrador current temperature will be almost zero degrees or minus ten degrees. Canary current is twenty degrees only, twenty, fifteen. But why call cold? Because yes, because here is twenty only. But it is coming to a place where temperature is 30 degrees. That's why cold current. Okay, that's why. Okay, Canary current, Canary current. So these are the important ocean currents in the northern Atlantic Ocean, northern. If you want the southern Atlantic Ocean, in the see, do you know what are the islands? What are the islands, friends? Falkland, Falkland. Uh, now they belong to Argentina, but uh, till few years ago, there was a um, kind of war between Argentina and UK, actually UK is there. No, UK also says that Falkland belongs to them. Argentina says that Falkland belongs to them. They both fought. Finally, the international court gave the Falkland to Argentina. So the cold current flowing like this is called as Falkland currents. Falkland current. Similarly, always remember the current coming from the polar area towards the equator is always cold only. See, this is always cold. Canary current is cold. Any current going from the equator will be warm. For example, this will be a cold current called Bengvila current. Bengvila, Bengvila current. 
friends in this entire not the southern polar area entire polar area there is a cold there is cold water keeps on moving throughout the globe see like this throughout the globe they move because actually do you know why water is moving westerly winds in this region throughout the world there are winds called westerlies the name of the wind is westerlies about which we will discuss in the climatology okay there is we all discussed about the planetary winds in climatology in planetary winds there are trade winds westerlies again easterlies polar easterlies so westerlies blow here westerlies come from the west that's why the cold currents will move they are called west wind west wind drift or westward drift so uh, here the southern equatorial current which hits the brazil will again move like this this is called as yes brazil current just like how gulf stream became north atlantic drift the brazil current will become south atlantic drift and joins with the westward drift south atlantic drift can anybody tell me why north atlantic drift is going towards its right hand side whereas south atlantic is going towards left hand side why coriolis force coriolis force is something which we discussed some time back according to coriolis means according because of the rotation of the earth earth rotates from west to east anyhow i discussed this concept during the geomorphology i may repeat it again for the next batch but remember that on the surface of the earth any moving object moving wind moving rivers water anything or in airplanes also airplanes in atmosphere only no airplanes go atmosphere only no so in the northern hemisphere any moving object will go towards right. its right hand side in the southern hemisphere southern any moving object goes towards i gave you example also to open the tap to see uh, how the water is moving okay we will discuss them again in some other class so now see actually the gulf stream we think that gulf stream moves like this see it has to move like this but why it is moving to right hand side because of coriolis force similarly the brazil current we will think will go like this only but why it is going to left hand side coriolis force of southern hemisphere towards left okay so now friends see now note these ocean currents will come back to the ocean current again will come back so here we are discussing about what coastline yeah coastline plays a very important role in changing the direction of ocean current example actually for the coastline only i have drawn all these things see why gulf stream is moving like this because the coast is like this why brazil current is moving like this because the coast for example if north america is not like this let us say north america is like this then ocean current move like that only ocean current moves along the coast only like that coastline affects the direction of the ocean current first thing second thing in my previous class i was telling you about the mid atlantic ridge east pacific ridge i told you no you remember i told you that for example if this is the ocean if you are standing here under the ocean there are some mountains and valleys like this so the ocean currents are moving because of the obstruction from the mid atlantic ridges they will move so not only the coastline but under the ocean the ridges also affect the direction of the okay not only see friends i told you about in atmosphere i should also tell you about the winds <coughs> winds are very important winds create the ocean currents winds can change the direction of the existing ocean currents also winds means again friends some winds are local they occur only there that is different planetary winds occurring across the planet both will affect the ocean currents for example see actually friends planetary winds only will have more effect local winds will not have much effect local winds cannot affect the ocean currents much planetary winds will affect the ocean currents 
Example, what the example of planetary winds? See, in this region, the winds move from the east, called as trade winds. Trade winds move from east to west. That is why, that is why, see, ocean currents here, ocean currents here, ocean currents here. Whereas, in this area, westerlies will come, westerlies. Westerlies will come. Westerlies move from west to east. That's why they are moving like this. You understand? So, everywhere you see, in that region, which are winds are flowing. For example, if you take the entire earth, in this area, easterly winds will flow like this. See? In this area, westerly winds will blow. Westerly, see. Westerly winds will blow. Again, in this area, westerly. So, whichever region the ocean is, that is affected by either westerlies or polarstries or easterlies. That you should know. Winds. Also, friends, okay, leave it. Now, so uh, you understand. See, I told you, you know, ocean currents, reasons itself will be very big. They are the reasons of ocean currents. Okay. Now, the most important thing I kept for the last is Earth. How Earth is a reason for creation of ocean currents? Rotation. Yes, very good. Rotation of Earth. Friends, do you know Earth rotates from west to east? This Earth, no? Earth moves from west to east. Earth moves like this. Now, as Earth is moving from west to east like this, the water, where, we, where is the speed of that very high equator polar area? Equator, I told many times in before class. Friends, see, if this is the earth, you take a point on the equator, take this point on the equator. Yeah. Take a point here. Exactly in 24 hours, earth will make one rotation. one rotation. Now, in one rotation, A will again come back to A. B again comes back to B. If you take a point here, C, again comes back to C. Now, let us calculate the speed of A, B and C. What is the speed of A? Speed of A is distance covered by A by time taken. What is speed of B point? Distance covered by B by time. What is speed of C point? Distance Now, see. This time t is 24 hours only. Time is same. Any point of the earth will come back in 24 hours only. But the distance is different. Distance of A is very high. B is less. C is even lesser. So, distance high. high so, the point A is covering more distance in same time. Yeah, same time. Whereas, C is covering less distance in same time. So, whose speed is more? Yes. Equator. So, tell me, wherever speed is more, the centrifugal force is also more. For example, take a lorry which is going very slowly. Lorry means having water. You take a lorry with full of water, go very slow, nothing will happen. But take a lorry, go very fast, the water will come out of the lorry. Similarly, at the equator, as earth is moving very fast, when the lorry is going forward, water will come backward. Similarly, earth is moving from west to east very fast. Water will move from east, east to west. west. Water moves from east. east to west. So, that is only called as northern equatorial current and southern equatorial current. These two currents are moving from east to west in reaction to the earth's rotation from west to east. Because earth is moving from west to east, along the equator, water moves from east to west. <coughs> so, Rotation of the earth can create the ocean currents. Example, northern equal current and southern equal current are the examples. Now, friends, even because of rotation, Coriolis force is also there, no? <coughs> because of rotation of the earth, Coriolis force is also there. <coughs> See, for example, north of the earth is there. It actually wants to go like this. Because of Coriolis force, it will move like this. This one also, Coriolis force. Actually, these two are affected by Coriolis force and plant winds. Both of it will be there. You cannot look at a ocean current and say that this ocean current is affected 
only by this one you cannot deal with it. Lot of factors play together. They interplay lot of factors. So you should consider all of them. <coughs> okay. So friends, I think I have covered. <coughs> I have covered what are the types of ocean currents. I covered what are the reasons for the ocean currents. And now let us go to <coughs> the important ocean currents which you, which you should remember. See, there are thousands of ocean currents, but we, we remember the most important ocean currents only. Now those ocean currents are like this. In the Atlantic Ocean, these are the important ocean currents. Now, if you observe here, see what is moving like a gyre, gyre. Here what is coming? Going, going, coming, coming, going, yes, again going. You understand? So, circle, cycle. So, friends, in the entire ocean, at some place, what is moving like this? Like this. Because of that, the water in between, this water is there, no between. This water can never mix with remaining oceans. Generally, ocean means what? Water should keep on intermixing, keep on moving. But here, because of this gyre, the water in center will stay there only from billions of years. The water is stagnant there only. Stagnant water will give rise to grass, sea grass, sea weed. Means plants are coming. Algae will start coming now. So that's why it's very green color. Lot of weed is there, weed grass, sea grass or sea weed, plants start growing there. We call it as, actually that weed, no? one, one type of weed is most common. Friends, why do we call Sundarabans as Sundarabans? Sundaraban is a mangrove forest. <coughs> it has a lot of trees. But why call Sundaraban only? Because though there are lot of trees in Sundaraban mangrove forest, one tree is most prominent, Sundari tree. <coughs> Sundari tree is mostly there, mostly. That's why Sundaraban. Similarly, here also lot of uh, sea grass and weed is there. But one type, one variety is almost 70 percent, one variety. That variety is called as Sargasso. <coughs> Sargasso is a type of uh, grass that grows in the water. Sargasso weed, weed. That's why this sea, this sea actually, this is an ocean, not a sea. What is a sea? Sea is a small part of an ocean. For example, this Arabian, this is Bay of Bengal or Arabian Sea. What is this? In the entire Indian Ocean, a small part. Like that, in the entire Atlantic Ocean, this small part is called as Sargasso Sea. Sargasso Sea. Because of Sargasso Weed. Sargasso Sea, okay. It's also called as, actually, these things are there, these four things. We call them as Northern Atlantic Gyre, see the Northern Equatorial Current, the Gulf Stream, the Florida Current, North Atlantic Drift and Canary Current, dotted line. This circulation is called as a Gyre, Gyre. This Gyre is occurring where? At North Atlantic Ocean, that's why it's called as Northern Atlantic Gair, North Atlantic Gair. Okay. Similarly, in the Southern Atlantic also, South Atlantic also, see, South Atlantic current, South uh, Southern Equator, Southern Equatorial current, then Brazil current, Brazil current, then Southern Atlantic drift, then Benguela current. Bing, you know, no, already have drawn no, here. See, here also South Equatorial current. Brazil current, so Bingvila current. It's a gyre. This gyre is called as, but in this gyre, there are loose ends. See, loose ends are there, loose ends. So, Sargasso did not form there. It's all known. There's no weed there because some loose corners are there. Water can flow through them. That's why there's no weed. But gyre is there, gyre. It's called as, called as Southern Atlantic. Southern Atlantic Gair. Friends, I should tell you one thing here. Tell you one thing here. See, let us come to Indian Ocean. Let us come to the Indian Ocean. In Indian Ocean, see in Atlantic Ocean, ocean currents are fixed. Almost throughout the year, same ocean currents, no change. But in the Indian Ocean, 
the ocean currents direction change based on the season based on the direction will change see for example i already told you if you take india india map from june to october which winds will come southwest southwest monsoon that means winds will come like this south monsoon from october to april winds will come from northeast monsoon northeast monsoon so monsoon so as the winds are changing the ocean currents also will change because winds create the ocean current now so in india from june to october when the southwest winds flow the ocean current will be like this see the ocean current direct ocean current during the yes from june to whereas from october to from october to again april may winds northeast winds will come northeast so they come like this so winds will the, the ocean current will be like this this is equator okay however in the northern northern indian ocean only see this is indian ocean only in the northern indian ocean such a reversal of ocean current can be seen reversal of ocean current only in the northern indian ocean southern indian ocean no change <coughs> in southern ocean always you will have the southern equatorial current very normal and this current will hit it here it goes like this these channels are called madagascar and agulha see mozambique you call it as one is mozambique current mozambique other thing is madagascar current they both are very close both of them combine into this current called agulhas current agulhas agulhas current this current joins the joins the west one drift west one drift okay now whereas here see australia this is the indian ocean this is the pacific ocean australia east side is pacific ocean west is indian ocean in indian ocean we find western australian current which is a cold current see cold current western austin current but eastern austin current is again a again a just agulhas 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 is a eastern thing is a warm current warm <coughs> east austin current is also warm anything coming towards polar area is warm going from polar area is cold this is cold current <coughs> okay here also you can find you can find a kind of like friends anything in the ocean cyclic only anything cyclic is a basic nature of geography even we have uh, read about the land forms now davis cycle pink cycle cycle of land like that water cyclic <coughs> now friends from june to october <coughs> when when water moves like this there is no counter equatorial current but <coughs> during the october to april when the ocean current hits then there will be counter equatorial current there will be counter so counter equatorial current will not occur throughout the year whereas in atlantic ocean in atlantic ocean counter equatorial current is there throughout the year what is the reason for formation of the counter equatorial current this was a question in 2017 or 18 prelims the question was the answer is see northern equatorial current is coming like this it hits the coast south also hits the coast no listen carefully when they hit the coast no one branch goes like this other branch comes like this this branch becomes brazil current this branch becomes counter equatorial current here also northern let's say this is africa just increase this is the north current one stream goes like gulf stream another if there are no continents if there is no obstruction then there will be no so counter equatorial current is because of the obstruction whereas northern southern equatorial current because of 
because of rotation of earth. Northern equatorial current, southern equatorial current because of rotation of earth. But counter equatorial current because of obstruction. So for every ocean current you should know the main reason. So this is because of obstruction. This is because of rotation of earth from west to east. <coughs> now, we have studied the ocean currents of Atlantic Ocean, also the Indian Ocean. Let us go to the Pacific Ocean with the length of the topic. Okay? <coughs> Pacific Ocean, this map is not suitable because Pacific Ocean is not here. Pacific Ocean is behind the board. So all of you please come that side. I will discuss the Pacific Ocean. Because Pacific Ocean is behind. See, you are seeing all this part of the globe. The another part of the globe is contemplated ocean only. There is a globe in my room, I will bring it. Half of the globe is all Pacific Ocean. So, because the map is not there, I will draw the map. Now, if you draw, when I draw the map, friends remember, listen carefully. For this part of the globe, what is east? This is west. But for the Pacific Ocean, when you go behind the board, Pacific Ocean, what is the, what is the east? Yes, this is the east Pacific Ocean. The, the Chile, the Peru, Peru, Chile, these are all east Pacific Ocean, east. Whereas Japan, North Korea, South Korea, this is Japan. Japan, North Korea, this is West Pacific Ocean, West. See, when you look from India side, this is East actually, this is West. But for the Pacific Ocean, Japan and Indonesia is West, USA, this is East. So, let us, let us draw the Pacific Ocean. Let us draw the... <coughs> I am drawing Pacific Ocean, listen carefully. What is the East Pacific? East is? Yes. This is a Peru, this is a Peru, Chile. Uh, this is the, this is the Central America, North America. This is Central America, this is North America. This is Alaska. Alaska is also very important, Alaska. Okay? If you want the exact map, you can see here, see, Alaska, this one, this curve, see, here California, see, this is called California, this is California, this is Baja, California, have you seen the movie, Andreas Fault, San Andreas Fault, there is a movie, hero was, uh, Rock, ben Johnson, yeah, Ben Johnson, Rock, okay, so, actually, this is there, no, this water is there, no, this water was not there earlier, there was a fault, Actually, the earth broke because of that one the water came here, ocean came here, okay. Anyhow, the point is California you are able to see, Alaska you are able to see, Central, this is Central America, see, Central America you are able to see, see you know, same thing I am drawing here. See, Alaska, California, Central America, whatever. Now friends, see, draw the equator. Now on the, this is the East Pacific Ocean, East. West is <coughs> Indonesia, Japan, Australia, <coughs> West Pacific Ocean. Now, let us discuss the Ocean Currents Pacific Ocean and to end the class. Friends, Pacific Ocean is the same, the Ocean Currents move in the Northern Equatorial Current and <laughs> Same. Again the heat and they come back. They come back as the? Same. In Australia from here, sorry, here, see this one goes as Eastern Australian current. This is the? What is this? Westward drift. I told you, you know, entire globe. Entire globe. I told you, westward drift. I think you can see that here. Below the Australia. This Australia now. Below Australia, what is there? This is the East uh, Austin current, okay? <coughs> now, here which current is there? Peruvian cold current. Here, Peruvian cold current. Peruvian, because it's going towards Peru. This is Peru, friend. This is Chile. Peruvian cold current. It's a cold current, okay? Similarly, here, oh, I, I forgot to draw the China and all that. China is there. Russia is there. Russia. Russia only know. And here friends, do you know, between Russia and USA, there are some islands called as Kuril Islands, you know, Kuril Islands. Once upon a time, 
once upon a time, long, long ago, even Alaska, this Alaska, no? Alaska is a part of Russia only, but USA bought Alaska. USA bought Alaska. Okay? Actually, friends, this much gap will not be there. In the actual map, gap is less only. I have drawn like this. Shall I draw again? Otherwise, it's okay. Because time is up, right? Okay. See, now, Kuril are a group of islands connecting Russia to Alaska. Alaska is a part of USA. Tell me what is the country here? Canada. Yes, Canada. But Alaska does not belong to Canada. Alaska belongs to USA only. USA is actually not in touch with Alaska. Alaska is there, USA is here. But they bought it. They purchased it by giving money. Okay. <coughs> now, friends from here, cool current, see, cool currents will come. See, cool current, cold current. They are called as either Kuril current or Oyashio. What? Oyashio, but in Japanese you call Oyashio. Okay? Friends, Oyashio currents are also called as Kuril currents. They come north. And this is Japan. Near Japan, what is that? Kuroshio. These are the Japanese names. Because this Oyashio, Kuroshio, they are coming. This is from Japan to Japan. That's why Japanese names are kept. It's not in English names. So, Kuroshio, sorry, Kuroshio is a warm current. I'm sorry, friend. Kuroshio is obviously warm current. Oyashio or Kurail is a cold current. Can anyone tell me what is the name of cold current here? Can anyone tell me? Guess. Alaska current. Near Alaska only no. Alaska current. It is cold current, warm current? Cold current only. This Alaska current will actually continue like California current. This is similar to in Atlantic Ocean. Can anybody tell me what is the current name here? Atlantic Ocean. Canary current. I told you actually, actually friend, Canary current, Canary current, see it comes almost to equator. Here it's cold current only, but almost comes to equator. Similarly, there also, the California current, so what is this? California, because this place is California. Why is it called Canary current, you know Canary? Because there are islands called Canary Islands. The Atlantic Ocean Canary Islands are there. That's why Canary current. Here, Alaska, here California is there. California is part of USA. Yes. This is California. Peninsular kind of thing, Baza California. That's why California current. Now see, same thing. North equatorial current, Kuroshio current. Listen, from Kuroshio current, there is a warm current called as, guess it? North Pacific. Same thing. Just like a North Atlantic, see, Gulf Stream, North Atlantic Drift, can recurrent. Here, Kuroshio current, North Pacific Drift, California current. Same. Everything is same. If you understand Atlantic Ocean currents very well, everything is same. Okay. Here also same. See, South Equatorial current, East Australian current, South Pacific, Drift, Westward, Drift, Peruvian current. Over. So, these are the important ocean currents of Pacific Ocean. Friends, you should remember actually all these ocean currents, you should by heart and remember them. Though there are thousands of ocean currents, I am telling only these currents because only they are given the book. No, because only they are important. They are important. Only these things will ask in the exam. I told you in Atlantic Ocean, currents are same throughout the year. But in the Indian Ocean, based on the monsoon, rivers, rivers. Similarly, in the Pacific Ocean, this Peru current is there, no? Not seasons, once in three years, once in four years, once in five years, this Peru current will be replaced by whom? Very good, El Nino. That you should know. Friends, see, here normally a cold current called as? Blue. Blue. And here, South Equatorial current, South Equatorial will be there. But sometimes, sometimes once in three, four years, what happens, you know? Once in three, four years, the South Equatorial current, which is going like this, will reverse. It will reverse because of uh, change in the wind direction, they will reverse. When they reverse, the South Equatorial current will come like this. At that time, Peru current will disappear. That is called El Nino. This current is there, no? This current is current. The warm current is called El Nino. Friends, remember, El Nino warm current will not be there every year. 
in indian ocean every year monsoon change but here el nino occurs once in 3 once in 4 years but when el nino occurs the peru cold current will disappear and el nino warm current will come like this it will even join the westward drift also because of that see because of that the westward drift which is actually cold current will become warm when so the entire ocean becomes warm actually india in the month of may june july in that season tell me you tell me dhanush may june july summer season for north or south hemisphere very good north hemisphere summer season but say may june july southern southern hemisphere is winter season winter so it should be cool normally it's cool it is cool this is warm when it is cool pressure is high when it is warm pressure is low so winds blow from high to low normally in the month of may june july winds move from here to india those winds are only called as uh, southwest monsoon but when el nino comes no this will not be cool it will become hot no this is also hot this is also hot why will winds blow so winds will not blow that is why whenever el nino comes no el nino indian monsoon will be weakened in that in that year india will not get good rainfall mostly see you cannot say always sometimes uh, indian ocean dipole effect is also there i'll discuss later about that but mostly el nino will reduce the rainfall in india so the ocean currents topic is over actually i discussed all the important ocean currents but i forgot to tell you effects of the ocean current that is the last part what are the effects of the ocean current <coughs> with this topic is over okay friends what are the various effects of ocean currents see one thing you can tell is one thing you can tell is wherever wherever see the eastern greenland current is a cold current it is joining the north atlantic drift so this is a region where cold ocean current is joining with the warm ocean current there what happens you know lot of nutrients are created nutrients lot of fight of wherever new see in the soil if nutrients are there what will come plants will come in the water if in the water if nutrients are there what will come phytoplankton the phytoplankton are coming to to eat them what will come fish so when fish are coming there fish breeding ring is breeding so more fish will come there so this region will have lot of fish it is a famous fishing ground called dogger bank near uk this uk no it's called as dogger friends dogger bank is the famous fishing ground you find lot of fish there why because there warm current is mixing with the cool current here also see here also the gulf stream or northern drift are mixing with the labrador current so warm current and cold current are mixing this is called this is, a, this is called dogger bank bank means a place where you can do fishing this is called new found land bank new found land is a part of canada new found land it is an area new found land that is called new found land bank or labrador bank it is also world famous fishing ground why because of ocean currents cold ocean current and warm ocean mixing okay similarly here in the pacific ocean here i told you, you know in japan in japan here kuroshio current here oyashio so in japan here you find the world's famous fishing grounds where kuyo kuroshio and oyashio meet that's why japan's economy almost 5 to 6% of japan's economy is based on the marine foods only sea foods only they do fishing lot of fishing you see japanese every day they eat fish only okay when you go to japan you should eat fish friends see here also here also the brazil current and falkland current meet here that's also world's famous fishing ground okay so that's the first effects what is the first important effect of the ocean currents where cold current meets the warm current it gives nutrients and nutrients gives and phytoplankton gives more fish is there human beings will come wherever anything is there they'll come and take it 
that is the nature of human beings. So human beings will come. World seven fishing grounds. It is it is important part of the economy of those countries. Now second effect is friend, navigational hazards. Friend, the ships you know, ships go in the ocean you now. There are accidents because of the ocean currents. I'll tell you how. Navigational hazard. It can be in two ways. One is icebergs will sometimes hit the ships. Sometimes icebergs. Sometimes you know what happens? Fog. Fog will reduce the visibility. I will tell you about the fog and a little iceberg also. See. See. Here Falkland is coming, you know. This ocean current, Falkland current is coming from which area? Polar area. In polar area, ice will be there, no. Ice will also come with the currents. Lot of ice will be carried. Here also, Labrador. Ice will be carried. Here also. Ice will be, uh, ice carried. See, now point is, as icebergs are coming, large icebergs, when ships are going in the ocean, can they say icebergs? Icebergs come from bottom. They hit the ship because he, we can find a dent in the ship, hole in the ship. So the ship will sink. Example is ship, Titanic, Titanic ship. But just for this one, you know, you no know need to see Titanic movie. Titanic movie they will not show this one. They will show other things. Okay. Now, friends, that is about the navigational accidents. Second thing is fog. What is fog? I will tell you what is fog. Fog means see. Now there is air around you know. Air is there now. Is there water vapor in the air? It will be there. You come and please convert the water vapor into water. You only. Can you want to convert? I told you many times now. How to convert? Yeah, that is also one way. The thing is, you take a glass, pour Pepsi in that or any other drink. I mean cool water like that. Okay? The so glass will become very cool. Then in this air water where, for example, this part of, are you able to see water vapor? Are you able to see? You cannot see. Okay? Now, you keep the glass there. All that part will become water, touch the glass. Like that, what is fog? Fog is nothing but, in this air, water vapor is there. But if a cold ocean current is blowing, cold ocean current, because of the ocean current, somebody very less, the water vapor here will convert into water. Water, fog, yeah, that is a fog. Fog is nothing but small water droplets in the air. In the air. Means water vapor converts into water, but very small, it will not fall down. It's not rain. Converts stay there only. Fog. Whenever fog is there, you cannot? Visibility will reduce. Early morning, 3 o'clock, when fog is there, you go on the bike. You do not know where you are going also. You just keep on going. Okay? Friends, see, here, similarly, in this area, cold current, cold current, all the cold current areas, fog is formed. Whenever there is fog now, ships also will stop going. Because in the fog, if ships are going, there will be navigation accident. Ship will go and hit the land, hit the iceberg, hit something basically. Sometimes fog is vertically so high that even aeroplanes which are moving here, see, aeroplanes, they also visibility will be lowered, visibility. They will go hit something. In Delhi itself, in the some winter season, they cancel the flights because of fog. Now imagine the polar area. Okay? So that is another effect of the ocean currents, navigation accidents. But friends, the most important effect, I will tell like this for every effect, don't worry. The most important effect is the coastal climate, <coughs> what you call as? Coastal climate will be affected. How coastal climate affected? See. See. <coughs> For example, you please take uh, you, this UK or France, take this one, UK or France. Normally in UK and France, the west coast in winter season, it will be very cool. It will be very cool in the winter season. But because of the North Atlantic drift, which is a warm current, which comes here, warm current coming here now. Generally, friend, when the ocean is very cool, there won't be rainfall. When the ocean is cool, will there be evaporation? No evaporation. So in winter season, when ocean is cool, when ocean is cool, water is cool, there is no vapor, no rainfall. But in the UK and France, these areas, in the winter season also, North Atlantic drift is carrying hot water. So the ocean will be warm. So there will be evaporation. So there will be rainfall. Of course, the reason for the winter rainfall, this is not the only reason. Other reasons are there, which are explained in the climatology class. That is shifting of pressure belts. That is also reason. But it's later. Okay. Similar here. Gulf stream is there now. This Gulf stream 
in the winter season also actually in summer season this gulf stream is so hot that brings heat waves it brings heat waves to the uh, eastern part of usa and also it will make the eastern part of usa I means the climate of the eastern part of usa weather will be changed because of the ocean currents okay friends that's how you can discuss about the effects of ocean currents with this point the ocean currents topic is over you please make notes of all these things and revise them then in the next exam i will keep only ocean currents examination separately for optional students separately for general studies students okay see you bye